Concord, the 5v5 team shooter from Firewalk Studios, a wholly owned subsidiary of PlayStation Studios, is dead on arrival. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. Also, hit that like button. Let's beat the YouTube algorithm and get more people to watch this video. Wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com, and that headline is 100% accurate. The Concord Early Access Beta draws less than 1,200 concurrent players. Firewall Communications Manager Alice Labreck announced that the game would have an Early Access Beta in a blog post on PlayStation's website earlier this week. She said, The Concord Beta Early Access Weekend on PlayStation 5 and PC will begin tomorrow, Friday, July 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. If you are playing on a PlayStation 5, you can pre-download the Concord Beta starting today, Thursday, July 11 at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. In order to participate in the early access beta, one needs to pre-order the game or receive a code from someone who did pre-order it. Lebrecht said this, pre-ordering any edition of Concord will grant you access to the beta early access weekend, as well as four extra codes you can share with friends so you can squad up with your own crew and take on rival crews together. On top of this, the game was opened up to PlayStation Plus members as well. The game was also giving away codes on social media for PlayStation, Steam, and Epic Games. Not sure what's going on here with this uh, post on X. Not sure if it's why it's not populating, but uh, that was a link to them giving away uh, the codes. The game does not seem to be garnering a significant player base, at least on Steam. According to SteamDB, the game's concurrent peak players only hit 1,124 when the early access beta opened up. You can see that when I took this screenshot earlier today, there were 584 users on it. I think there's there's about a little bit over 100 more playing right now. It's sitting at 667 right now. Looking at my other tab there. Uh, in fact, gamers who have played the early access beta do not seem to be impressed by the game either. So the people that are playing it are just like, what am I even playing? This game sucks. Uh, we have YouTuber and Demian. He shared his thoughts on X. Uh, and he, wrote, he has some uh, positives and negatives here. But uh, when you get to the bottom of his post on X, it says, overall, not impressed at all. Not sure what Sony is going for here with this. And genuinely concerned if this game will do well or flop. In my opinion, if they want any chance of survival in today's market, this has to be free to play at launch. $50 for what feels like a side mode in a more complete game is asking too much. Really worried about this one. We also have YouTuber Dreamcast Guy. He described the game as Walmart brand Overwatch in his reaction to it. Uh, he said the only thing that he liked was the act was the characters, which that's like one of the biggest turnoffs. So uh, take that for what it is. But even he was describing it as Walmart brand Overwatch. And he's saying he was liking the color schemes and the characters and all that. <laughs> but even he was crapping on the game. Uh, and you can watch his video there if you want to. I'll have the link in the description below. So this isn't really surprising, right? Uh, people saw this and were like, this is trash. What are they even doing? Looks like an Overwatch clone. And that's exactly what it looks like we're getting. Uh, and based on what people are saying who are playing <laughs> this, uh, this beta. Uh, so if you recall, the game did receive a ton of backlash for its character designs. I mean, just look at this character design. Absolutely hideous, ugly. Who wants to play that character? I mean, who wants to play any of these characters? I mean, these characters are just not attractive they do not uh, want anyone they're not screaming i want to play this character in this game and then you've got all the pronoun nonsense up here too um and you know that they also announced here uh when they announced the game during this uh, playstation state of play that uh, they would be having these like vignettes every single week uh, firewalk studios director of ip kim Krein said this every character brings their own unique personality skills and wide-ranging perspectives to the crew every week when you log into concord you'll be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job they will feature ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters stories and relationships and unpack the broader concord galaxy i can only imagine that there's going to be all kinds of inf infestation uh, of woke ideologies disordered and de degenerate lifestyles i mean it's very obvious if you're already doing pronoun nonsense in your characters like this one here it doesn't it says undecided like if you're already doing uh this stuff building on this lie of transgender ideology you know you're going to be pushing it in these vignettes uh, and this is no one needs to do no one needs to be exposed to that kind of evil and we should reject it so they got what's coming and uh 
I'm glad that there's almost no one playing this game. 600 is too much. Uh, you should stop now. We also had this rumor from Mark Kern, a.k.a. Grums, following this backlash that the Firewalk Studios and, ex and its executives were shrugging off the feedback. He posted this, PlayStation-owned studio, Firewalk Studios has heard your complaints about Concord and ignored them. Sources tell me internal emails show the Concord team is shrugging off the criticism of their characters as white noise and dismissing it very much in their own bubble. He added, meanwhile, their trailer has over 44,000 dislikes. I haven't checked it. This was, remember, he posted this back, back in June, the beginning of June. So it's probably a lot higher than that now. I haven't checked uh, recently. Uh, but he went on and said, and their lead character designer bashes white folks and is rumored to be the one who pushed for the character lineup to be super woke. They are in for a rude surprise. Indeed, they are. I think they're already getting it here with this early access beta. Meanwhile, Sony will be forcing PC players to register for PlayStation Network with this game and barring it from sale in 177 countries. Vote with your wallets, he concluded. And this rumor appeared to be confirmed when Kim Krines actually addressed the backlash in an interview with VGC. She said, yeah, that trailer, that moment is such a tiny slice of everything that we've been working on for years and years. We're excited for the game and for the IP and for the game to be in people's hands, the IP to be in people's minds. Uh, clearly, it's not in a lot of people's hands and it's definitely not in a lot of people's minds. Uh, and that is a good thing. I'm personally very excited for the IP for folks to delve into the Galactic Guide if that is something they choose to do for these vignettes to come out on a weekly basis. You'll start to fall in love with the depth of the characters. That's something that you learn week to week. Their personalities will unfold. Their relationships will unfold for you. Their backstories. None of that is something that you can get in a tiny little slice of it. But that's a start. There's something there. So I'm glad folks watched it. I'm glad they participated. And I can't wait for them to see more, to see everything that is there. And based on this early access beta, doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of people uh, checking that out. And that's a good thing because they're already doing pronoun nonsense. And then the game looks like it's just based on what we're seeing here from Endymion, based on what we're seeing from Dreamcast Guy. It's literally just an Overwatch clone, what it looked like. And it's better off being free to play. And the actual mechanics really aren't that good. Look, you can see here Endymion saying maps feel lifeless and boring. No character felt good. Character movement feels sloppy and slow. I mean, just absolutely... Uh, pointing out how terrible this game is just on uh, the gameplay mechanics, let alone whatever kind of narratives they are going to be trying to push with these vignettes. But look at this right here. 1,124 was its peak, and it's unlikely to go up any higher. Uh, we're already here on Saturday, July 13th. It ends on July 14th. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, though, whether or not the actual opening beta, which happens a little bit later this month, can, can beat this number. Definitely be keeping my eye on it. And if it does beat it, how much does it beat it by? And if it doesn't beat it, how much did the early access trounce the open beta? Can you imagine that? Uh, there would be less people in... Uh, <laughs> In the, in the open beta than there are here in the early access. Wow. Then it would really, really be dead on arrival. But this looks like to be just another loser from PlayStation Studios, another DEI loser. And that is good. Gamers have had enough of this stuff and we are saying no. But those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, but to always speak the truth.